hi you guys welcome back to Rachel's kitchen table I'm Rachel and today I'm making for you deviled eggs this deviled egg recipe is my grandmother's and it has been in my family since geez I don't even know how long but at least as long as I've been alive and that's been a while so um you guys I get rave reviews about these eggs every time I make them I make these eggs um, for any type of event it could be a holiday it could be a party um, just to get together and you guys seriously rave reviews everybody says these are the best I've ever had and they really really are and trust me I have had a lot of deviled eggs and this this is the go-to recipe so first let's start with enough water in your pot to steam your eggs that's right we're gonna steam our eggs not boil the reason being is because the steam helps to release the shell from the egg a lot easier than it does if you put them into water and uh, boil them in water. So I'm going to start my water at uh, on high, and once that starts to boil, um, we can go ahead and put the lid on. I'm going to go ahead and put the eggs in now so that they can come up to temperature with the water and they don't crack. So I've got six eggs, and if uh, you've got an egg tray uh, you, for this specific purpose. You know that there are 12 spots for eggs, so do six eggs per tray. And I'm going to go ahead and cover these. And, okay, you guys, we went ahead and set the timer for 15 minutes, and I turned down the burner to about medium high, and it will stay there for the duration of the boiling process. Okay, you guys, it's been 15 minutes, and it's time to take the eggs out of the pot. So I'm just going to remove the lid. I've already turned off my burner. Don't forget that part. And I'm going to take the, the steamer basket by the center. I've got a, uh, that's in the way. I've got an ice bath right here for them so that they stop cooking immediately. All right. So all six are in the, in the ice now, the ice water. And I'll just show you. And that's the ice bath that the eggs will sit in to cool. All right, you guys, while the eggs are cooling, we're going to go ahead and start making the filling. Um, you can do this while the eggs are steaming as well. Um, we're going to take a half an, e uh, half an onion and just um, slice, just coarse chop it, because we're going to cut it up in the uh, processor. I'm just going to take a little bit and... Just give a rough chop there. All right, and I'm going to take put them in the food processor. And pickles are extremely important. I use dill pickles. Do not use bread and butter pickles. You will not get the same result. You won't even get like close. So just use dill pickles. I have dill pickle chips. You guys can use those. You guys can use spears, whatever you want. We used to um, cut them by hand. We would take a whole spear, three of them, or a whole, um, whole kosher dill, and we would cut them into very tiny pieces. It was so tedious and time consuming. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to judge in here like three. I'm getting very hungry. These are the best. I'm gonna go a little bit more, maybe a few more chips here. So total I have probably about, I'd say 12 hamburger chips, um, dill hamburger chips. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and chop these up in the food processor until they're extremely fine. Okay, you guys, in here I have my half of an onion and I have my dill pickle chips. And I am just going to chop these until they are fine. Um, I'm not going to puree them or give them, you know, just keep it going. I'm going to just chop them because I don't want them to be liquefied completely. Okay, and just push the food down occasionally because which, what's going to end up happening is you're going to have larger chunks uh, in there. You want to make sure that you get them all. So we're just going to push it down on the sides and kind of push anything that really needs to be chopped finer towards that blade. Almost done. 
Um, I would say you'd probably chop this in a KitchenAid chopper for about 30 pulses. Um, just to make sure everything's broken up. All right. All right, you guys. So this is what you want. Um, you want like thin. Um, I'm trying to get the camera focused. Okay, you want like fine pieces here. Um, so they're not too big, but they're very small. You want the texture in your um, deviled eggs, but you don't want a huge chunk. So just be mindful of that. If you do see large chunks in your mixture here, just pull them out. It's not going to hurt anything, but it might hurt somebody to chomp on a raw onion. Okay, okay, I don't know how well you can see, but I have my fine mesh strainer sitting underneath my, my chopper so that my chopper can kind of hold it up. Um, I'm going to take the contents of my bowl here and I'm going to place them in the fine mesh strainer. And I can already hear that liquid going down the drain. So, as you probably know, I'm sure you do know, onions and pickles are very, um, onions and pickles have a wet property to them. Pickles, obviously vinegar, and onions have uh, water in them. So, you want to get that out because if you don't, what's going to end up happening is your, uh, your deviled eggs will be a soupy mess and you don't want that. All you want is that flavor and the texture. So you're going to push down on those contents until you don't hear the, the liquid coming out of this any longer. And definitely fold it over, move it around so that that way um, you can ensure that you're getting everything and not just what's there on the bottom. You're going to have to push down just a little bit hard. Um, don't break your strainer, but, you know, get all that liquid out. Okay. All right. That's as good as I'm going to get it. There's your mixture. And we're going to just go ahead and we're going to put it into this bowl. So we picked out the large chunks. There were only a few. And you might find that there are just a few. And that's, you know, better than not. So the rest of these are going to go in the mix. So now I'm going to start peeling the, uh, the eggs. And we're going to get the yolks put in here and get everything else together. All right, you guys. So now we're going to crack the eggs. And I'm going to show you how wonderful steaming your eggs really are. I always start at the bottom. I don't crack on the sides um, to avoid too much damage to the exterior of the eggshell because, or yeah, the, uh, well, the egg white. Because you want your, your egg whites to look nice as the vessel that people are going to be eating from. These eat with your eyes before you eat with your mouth. And if your egg white is not visually beautiful, people are probably going to shy away. Maybe they won't. They are deviled eggs after all. So this is your egg, <clears throat> excuse me, this is your egg, it is perfect, there are no blemishes on the top, bottom, it is perfect. So, oops, there is an eggshell though. So this is what you want your eggs to look like. Steaming helps to release that egg white from the shell more easily than uh, hard boiling them. So we're just going to finish peeling our eggs and then we will get everything else ready to go. Guys, okay, now it's time to cut the eggs. I've already got one done. Um, we're just going to cut directly in half and make sure you get all of the yolks off of your knife and into... I didn't even see that. I took the whole thing. And by cooking them in the steam, this is what, for 15 minutes, this is what your egg yolk looks like. Nice and yellow and perfect. If you have that gray ring around them, that typically means they are overcooked. And I just like to wipe off my knife, um, especially if I'm serving a uh, family or friends. Uh, I like to 
wipe off my knife each time so that they don't have egg yolks all over their egg whites. You know what I mean. All right, and these are perfectly cooked eggs. I mean, perfect. They are beautiful. They are. Uh, so I'm just gonna finish these up and then we'll be ready to finish up our filling. Okay, so the egg whites are completely done and I'm just gonna cover them with saran wrap and then I'm gonna stick them in the fridge for the time being. Okay, ready to go. Okay, so the filling boils down to a few simple ingredients. Pickles, onions, egg yolks, Miracle Whip, not mayonnaise, a miracle whip, the good stuff. And then just a normal yellow mustard. Make sure to shake that up really well. You don't want that liquid uh, that has separated to get into your filling because that's just nasty. And then salt. So you want to take a quarter cup of, if you're doing six eggs, uh, do a quarter cup of uh, miracle whip. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And then you want about a tablespoon of, do you get any on you too? And then you just want a tablespoon of yellow mustard. And this is where we're going to start. And then if you guys need any extras, um, you can certainly add extra. I'm going to mash the egg yolks and you want to get them as smooth as possible. Sometimes I'll rerun it back through the um, food processor just to make sure that they're smooth and there's no like little lumps that I missed because it can happen. All right, so this has been in the food processor until it's been got a little bit smoother than it was. This is what it looks like. And then I'm going to add probably about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And you always want to taste it to make sure that you have enough salt, enough Miracle Whip, and enough mustard. It should be a nice balance of flavors, not one more than the other, or vice versa. So I'm just going to get a spoon to the taste. Okay, so this needs a little bit more Miracle Whip. Maybe I didn't do the full quarter of a cup, but again, I said I'd eyeball it, right? Okay, I'm going to mix that in, and it probably needs a little bit more salt. So start off with a quarter of a cup of Miracle Whip and a quarter teaspoon of salt, and just kind of go off of your personal uh, liking afterward. Okay. All right, and we're going to give that another try. Hmm. All right, we're going to give it another try here. There we go. All right. Perfect. So all the seasonings are right where they need to be. I taste enough of the Miracle Whip and enough of the mustard. The pickle to onion ratio is perfect. And we have enough salt in our filling. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let this sit in the refrigerator for at least one hour. Two is better, but at least one hour so all these flavors can meld together and you have a uh, more firmer texture so that it's easier to put into the eggs. All right, we are in the home stretch here, almost done. These have This has been chilling for about an hour. And I am just going to pipe them into the egg whites to uh, make a very pretty facade. So you can just put, you can just use a spoon and put them in there. That's fine if you want to, or if you want to make them look a little bit more fancy, you can certainly do that. Um, you can fit a pipe bag or a Ziploc bag with a star tip like I have. Um, and you can just pipe them to the egg whites and you will have a gorgeous outcome in a yes. And it is time to lock the lid on. I'm going to do it at an angle so I can 
try not to lose too much of my filling. Of course, when I do that, there we go. There we go. Yep, it comes out anyway. Okay. So if we need extras, we've got it, right? All right. So you want to take it and just push, fill that cup. Now, give decent portions you don't want to be over generous with them because you don't want to run out before you finish piping um, you don't ever want to have an egg white without any yolk filling especially on these beautiful deviled eggs so you're just going to go around and fill each egg and if you have extra, feel free to go around again. Um, try to be a little bit even with the extras on each one so that they look like they've all got the same amount. There we go. All right. So these are beautifully decorated, beautifully portioned. And then we're going to take paprika, not, not smoked paprika, not hot paprika, just sweet paprika. And you're going to take it between your fingers and just lightly dust each egg. Paying specific attention to the yolk. And you don't want too much because paprika really is a very strong flavor. And you don't want that to be the only thing that your guest tastes. All right, you guys. And here you are. It's coming towards you. My tray of deviled eggs. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay, so now it's just time to taste it and see exactly how we did here. So I want this one. It looks gorgeous. Just absolutely beautiful, you guys. <sighs> here we go. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to tell you, the tanginess from that Miracle Whip and the, the mustard with the pickle and the onion and the paprika, you guys, this is so good. The creaminess of that egg yolk and the firmness of that egg white, oh, wow. Top notch right here. You guys, I'm telling you, these literally, I am not kidding when I say I'm not boasting. I am not making this up. When I make these, I get nothing, and I mean nothing but rave reviews. And, and I promise you guys will too. Do it like I said, and you guys will be the hit of the party. Everybody will be saying, make those deviled eggs. Oh my gosh, can I have that recipe? Yes, or no, or you don't have to share if you don't want to, just so you can keep that one under your belt. But I'm sharing with you because these are too good to not to share. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited to be able to share this recipe with you. Please make them. I, I promise you will not be sorry. They are so good. And um, cut, like my video and subscribe to my channel, and you guys will get all the latest updates when I drop a video. Thank you guys very much. See you next time. Happy eating. Bye.